Hey, what's up guys? It's Joshua Rains from Possum's Paracord, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the Highlander. Uh, to start, I have 12 and a half feet of black, 12 and a half feet of hunter green, and 9 feet of FS navy blue, and I'm going to be using the Monster 1 inch whistle buckle for the demonstration. Um, now with this, take this one for example, um, you don't need the huge buckle. Um, now my wrist size is 8 inches. I made this bracelet to an even 10 inches and as you can tell it it's a comfortable fit. So you're going to want to add 2 inches to your wrist size for a good comfortable fit on this thing. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to start with the black. I already have my ends pre-flattened. Take your buckle down through the top. I'm just going to do a cow's hitch here. Nothing too fancy. Then you want to come to the other side. And my ends. And go down through the top as well. I like to kind of put my thumb in between them and then pull the ends. Open it up. Of course, here's going to be where you want to get your measurement. I'm just going to do a eight inch for the video here. Underneath, up between, and all we're doing here is we're just cinching it to the buckle up from behind. Now, reach through your loop, pull it out behind it. twist if it starts to turn. And one set. Same on the other side. Come from behind up through the middle. Come back around behind. Come up through. it down through the loop. And then just pull it tight. And then of course at this point, double check your measurement. We'll flip it around. Now, staying on the respective side come back up here and go down through the top just giving myself four inner cores here same thing on the other side I know there's a ton of different ways to do this folks just don't have to do it exactly the way I do it um, it's a little time consuming my way I would imagine but the results I get out of it
it's worth that little extra time. Then, this is my little technique here. Let's see if I can get the light in better. I just hold them, give it a bend, and keep pulling towards myself. And then when I get there, and if there's no, see that one right there. Okay, now, this is where you should be. Ba -ba bam, ba -ba bam. Take this one over the top, down between, and you're going to come through that loop. Don't pull this tight. Okay, same with the other side. Over the top, down between, up through that loop. This is going to be where you cinch these See, right there. But this is also where we're going to add the other colors. Take your other, which is going to be my green, the other one that's 12 and a half. Um, I just run through it. Flip it over. This is going to be the hard part. You got to generally find uh, even between it. Okay. Now grab your shortest length, which in my case is the FS, and these two right here, one, two, which is actually the two center inner strands. I'm just going to go behind them, just like that. Now find your middle. Generally, it's a start because I haven't actually tightened it up yet. Now, I'm going to sit and pull. See, I'm pushing these up, kind of pulling up and away. And you see it, it's locking it all in there. I'll flip it over. Okay. Now I'm going to check for my middles again. Start with the FS. Doesn't matter here. I can keep it on here. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start this like your basic sanctified. Take my blacks around behind, up through the middle. Same with this one. Around behind, through the middle. Okay. Start. 
start with the green doing like um endless falls here I go down come up let's see we'll do the opposite here around that come up This one, no. you don't want to tighten this. I'm just giving it a general. What we got? I see. Pull this down. Okay. This is where it gets crazy. Basically, uh, going to do a switch back with the green here. Moving this up, moving this out of the way of this block. Take this one. No. These are the two inner strands here. We come over the top of them, round behind, up between them. I'm basically doing a Bane's cuff here. And then you're going to go down through that. Then you're going to come up right through here. Now, grab this, pull it over, pull that up, and pull that. Now, I'm not trying to get it real tight. Yeah, the other side Go over behind up between and then over back down and then Up through here. And this is going to be where you want to start, giving it a little tighten. flip it over see how everything's looking back here add a tug add a tug okay. now so this is real loose right there you just need to come back out here pull it Cinching that right up. Then you pull your little hump up. And then you lock it in place. Same over here.
First one's always the worst. Everybody knows that. Um, it's going to be your general start. It's a lot of tightening, a lot of paying attention. And then you just keep repeating the process. Okay. Relax. Round behind. Through the middle. There. This one always goes around behind and to the outside. Okay. And then the FS you went to the inside the first go, so now I'm we'll gonna go to the outside. the green just a little slight tightening Push this up round through down going over itself there. You're going to come up. Give it a general tightening. Same on the other side. Okay, pushing that up, moving this out of the way. Go over the two. Around behind, up between, down, between, over itself. And then behind, and up through. General tightening. Okay. And this is just where you're going to slowly sit and work on it. Flip it over. 
Okay. Now, the black that does the wrap, you can kind of look at it, make sure it's even. Make sure it seats in between. That one kind of slid up. Not too bad, all right? We'll do one more. Okay, take your black. Round behind, up between, off to the side. Over here, round behind, up between, yep. off to the side. Start with this. And then on to the blue, we went to the outside there. So we're going to switch and come to the inside. Same with this one. Inside. And then back to this. Always to the outside. Give it just a slight tightening. Nothing too fancy. You don't want to hurt yourself here by over tightening somewhere, but you don't want to hurt yourself from under tightening either. I feel good there. Throw these out of the way. Push this up. Pull that down. Cross the top. Go behind. Up between I'd usually do all this in one move but when you're trying to show on camera it's a little bit more difficult down between and then around and up through And then just give it a quick little tightening, not too much. Okay. Come to the other side here. Pushing that up. Pulling that down. Over. Behind. Up between. Down, over itself, and down through. And then back up through here. You see, now the reason I push this one here up is because it wants to come down and it wants you to wrap around it and then come out. But it's much easier. And it makes the pattern work better if you don't go over it. I think the first one I did, I did go over it. And then the second and third one I did, I was like, oh, well, it's much easier if you don't do that. So pull that. Pull your hump up. And then pull the slack. This is going to be where you just sit and tighten, making sure it looks even on each side. If 
flip it over. Make sure you're seating properly. So you got a lot of slack there. And that's generally it, you guys. You just keep repeating the process, tightening, staring at it, making sure it looks good. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And, um, out. And this is going to be for the lucky ones that actually watch the video all the way through um, this is the Highlander it just has tracer cords and they do their own thing so for those of you that made it this far let me give you a quick little look at this okay so start same way do the sanctified. Move all this up out of the way. Round behind, up between. Round behind, up between. Okay. Start with these here. I do everything at the same time. Uh, just going to. Roll them behind, tracer cord right beside it. Little tug. Same with the next one. Let's see, Let's see. previous one uh, went to the inside, so this one's going to go to the outside. See, the hardest part is keeping those tracers where they need to be. This one here, go to the outside. Then this one here, per usual, always to the outside. Once you get past it, it's a huge cluster beep. You're just going to um, go on about your way, generally tightening. Okay. Now, what I like to do here, um, start with the black that's in the middle. I'm going to take its tracer cord, and I'm going to do a switch back. Right there. Same on the other side. Just go down behind them and then up. And once again, I'll stress do not tighten this. Okay. Now. Getting the black out of the way. Pushing this up. Take this. Trace a cord along the bottom. Over the top. Flip them. Round behind. Up between. Okay. Down through.
And then up. Grab these. Grab this and grab this. Pretty ingenious, right? Same with the other side. Tracer cord underneath. We'll keep it on the bottom. You know, that's all you gotta do. It'll wanna be there anyway. I've done this several times. Go around, up between. Down through. And then finding that spot where it comes back through. Now you do the slow, gruesome tightening process. With these, you can kind of grab its loop because it's actually going to tighten that one right there. And then pull the slack. Come over here. Tighten that up. Pull that up. Over here. There you have it. Um, a lot of work with this one. A lot of tightening. It's about as far as I'm going to go with that. Um, Sure does look badass, though. So. Thanks again, guys. Out.